I'm Paul. Hi. Uh, nice to have uh, you with us here today and you've just done your uh, final exam for the finals of the Interhotel Challenge. Yes. Um, so just tell me a little bit more about yourself. You told me that you went to, you grew up in a small town in the Free State yes. and, uh, and then you went and studied in the Eastern Cape. Tell me about that. Um, last year, no, in 2013 I finished my matric in Belcom High School in Belcom. So after that I wanted to study tourism, but then I couldn't because of some issues at home. So but then I stayed like two to three months at home and then I just got a call from someone at the Department of Education asking, well, are you not interested in a one course? Then I was like, what's a one course? What's that? I've never had anything like that. But then I said, it's fine because they told me you're going to do your assignments, do your diploma. So I, I'm like, okay, I'm doing nothing. Let me just give it a hit because I've never heard about such a course. So it's just about taking the leap of faith since I couldn't do the tourism management. So then I went to Eastern Cape. I was called on Thursday, Saturday. I had to be in Eastern Cape, Standing University. So that's where... At which I, university was that? Standing University in Port Alfred. So it's a Netherlands University. Yeah, but just based in South Africa. So there I got to do my preliminary course. After the preliminary, I got to do the certificate. After the certificate, I did the diploma. It was, it's a two year to three year course, but then for me it was just a short course because it's Cat Sita, was sponsored by Cat Sita as a leadership. And the, the diploma is at the Cape Wine Academy diploma? Yes, all of okay. them are at Cape Wine Academy. So when I got to write my exam, I got to come to Cape Town for the first time then I'm like, you know what, once I do my internship, I'm going to come to Cape Town because this is the home of wine. If you want to know about wine, Cape Town is the place to be. And also with this inter-hotel challenge, because like my trainer, uh, Martin, they just come to a conclusion like I've got the thing and I'm sure interested in wine, so wouldn't I want to enter something to represent Cape Grace? Like okay, I'm up for it. The first time it was never came, but with a smile, confidence, made it through to the finals, which is like also good for exposure. I'm um, glad I did this because this would open many doors now. They were like, Mpo, yeah, Mpo, recognize. <laughs> um, I also wish to influence, like, <clears throat> especially <clears throat> black people when it comes to wine, they don't drink much of wine. So my aim is also because I also didn't know anything until I was told by Karen, our lecturer. So I also wish to change that, like instead of having your steak with coke, have it with a glass of red. Do you have a favorite glass of red wine? Um, basic. I like the Pinot Noir because of the smooth, soft, velvety tannins. I'm trying to get those to those heavy words like Cabernet Sauvignon, but. It's like in terms of like becoming a sommelier, it's not about what you like. It shouldn't be about what you like. So it's like being able to recommend and to tell what's a good wine and a good wine. Good. Well, good luck for the finals. We look forward to seeing the, the winners. Yes, thank you.